They all know, Glenda, they really only have about another 48 hours or so, not counting their web time, to reach out to those undecided voters. Of course, they spent much of this day today face-to-face -to -face and even late into the night. But the money that we spend on taxes in Washington... It's closing in on 9.30 Saturday night on a day when Hanson Clark started campaigning at 8 a.m. But one handshake at a time, he's looking for votes at a noisy celebrity cuts on East 7 Mile while Cordell and Dee trim their customers. You know, it's worth it, though, because a lot of people, they don't feel that politicians really care about them. So that's why I make a point to come out to the neighborhoods and talk to them so they can see, look, I'm really concerned. I'm here to work for them. Even at this hour? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, they pay their taxes. I want to make sure they get their money's worth. He's not impressed with the polls that put him ahead of incumbent Carolyn Cheeks Kilpatrick, but pleased to hear that he's won over people like the senior citizen he met tonight. If he hadn't been running, I was going to vote for her. But I'm up changing. I'm going to vote for Senator Hanson Clark. Gubernatorial candidates were on the trail in the midday sun. At Eastern Market, Verge Bonero and Rick Snyder were shopping for votes, as was Mike Bouchard in Dearborn Heights. Well, for me, the whole thing is getting jobs back in the state, making some tough decisions that haven't been made and the willingness to do it to keep my kids and your kids and the other families right here in this state. And it's a willingness to tackle any effort that stands in the way of that without regard to the next election. For me, it's about the next generation, not the next election. And you'll hear versions of that statement from just about all the candidates, regardless of office they're trying to reach. But right here at the uh, broadcast house and Action News, we will be watching every single element of it on Election Day, beginning way early in the morning when that first vote is cast until late at night when the results are finally in. Reporting live at Broadcast House in Southfield, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.